a message for seniors. More info on prom. And another great showing by RHS academic teams. So let's get started. Because we are on, on the, the air. air. I'm your host, Lou Dog. And I'm Olivia Carter. We kick off with an important message for seniors about School is Cool. Good morning, RHS. Hope everybody's getting off to a great day. We are joined today by School is Cool. Hunter Haskett, also RHS student, and Ed, all up to you. Let's take it, take it over. Well, thank you for letting me come and talk about School is Cool. We're just weeks away from the senior celebration on May 8th. Uh, this is the award for uh, all the students who have perfect attendance. Um, you get opportunity, this is for seniors, so you get opportunity to win a car or a scholarship, but every single kid, student that has perfect attendance for that's a senior will at least get something. But before we get to that point, we have a special um, gift. Uh, for two students that have perfect attendance so far this year. Um, so we got two $25 gift certificates. And Hunter, what's the name of the first student that gets us an award? The first winner is Michael Meharry. Congratulations. Congratulations, Woo! Michael. Okay, and who's the second? All right, the second winner for the $25 gift certificate is Anna Creech. Congratulations. Congratulations, Woo! Anna. All right. a hand. <laughs> Good job to both those seniors. Uh, seniors who think they are qualified for um, perfect attendance for the drawing with the car that's coming up. There's a list on my door. Please stop by. I've spoken to the majority of you. Remember also you have to be on track to gra graduate with a 2.0 uh, for a core 40 diploma and also pass your I-STEP. Um, let's keep it going to all students here at RHS. Thank you School is Cool for this opportunity and have a great day. Anna and Mike, you can pick up your awards in Mr. Hensley's office. RHS Academics teams hosted the regional meet last night here at home, with all teams finishing in the top three in their subjects. The math, social studies, and interdisciplinary teams all finished first. Fine arts and English took second, and science finished third. Several of the teams could qualify for state, and we'll let you know later this week. Next up, we want to remind you about a place you still can get a nice dress or suit for prom. All right, so we're here with Ms. Hartman, who gave us a lot of information about all the formal wear and how a lot of the donations go to the life skills. Let's take a look. Hey, RHS. Um, I'm here to talk about the RHS prom store. Uh, prom is coming up uh, April 21st from 8 to 11. And one thing that we wanted to highlight here at our school is the uh, RHS prom store, and it is... Um, sorted and organized and run by the RHS life skills classes. So we spend a lot of time down here um, just getting everything ready for the formal dances. And what we do is we offer a service to some students who may not be able to go out and um, you know, pay a lot to rent formal wear for the dance, but we want to make sure that they are looking good for prom night. And so we offer a huge huge selection of ladies formal wear. We have some tuxes for the guys um, and what we do is we just have you come down, pick out what you would like to borrow from us and then we have you fill out a form that kind of describes um, what you borrowed, the condition it was in and then, um, then you sign off on that saying that you will take care of those items and then return them. We have dresses, tux, vests, uh, suspenders, we have some shoes, we have purses, we have jewelry, and we really just want to help RHS students look their best for prom, and we um, we really enjoy doing this service for our students. Uh, it's very rewarding. Um, this year we are asking for a $15 donation to rent 
the formal wear, and that money goes right back into the life skills program and helps us pay for things that we do. And then it also um, helps us cover dry cleaning costs for formal wear because that can sometimes get expensive. So uh, the prom store will be open uh, every Wednesday leading up to prom after school from 3.30 to 4.30. And there is a sign-up sheet outside of Mrs. Hartman's room, my room, um, R146. It's right across from the clinic. So if you come down, uh, you can just put your name on the sheet. I'm, I'm having two people come in um, per time slot just to make sure that we have dressing rooms available for you to try on clothing. And um, we will you know, do the best that we can to make sure that you have something great for prom night. So if you are in need, uh, just come see me in room R146 and we will make sure that we get you in here before April 21st. Remember, if you lost your ID, you need it to get into prom. Don't wait until the last minute to get a new one made. See Mrs. Smith in the career ed office across from the cafeteria. Last day to get an ID made is Thursday. And don't forget the RHS Auto Technology class is holding a car show this Friday. Hello RHS, Josh Summy from Richmond High School Automotive. Hey, we've got a car show this Friday from 5 until 8 o'clock. like to have you come out and come visit us if you have parents or family members that would like to enter. Uh, the car show is $10 for, for individuals. Uh, where is it going to be located? It will be located in the Career Center parking lot. Uh, what should be expected? Well, quite frankly, we're going to have old rock and roll music, we're going to have uh, some, some games, we'll have giveaway items uh, for people who take part in the show. Uh, what type of vehicles do we want? Anything cool or modified. So if you've got something or if you've got somebody that you know that has a cool vehicle, invite them to come out from 5 until 8 over here at the Career Center parking lot at RHS. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Charlie and this Friday we're going to be having a Vintage Wheels car show here in the Career Center parking lot here at the high school. It's going to be from 5 to 8 o'clock and we're going to have all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to have some great entertainment, some great classic rock music playing. I'm going to bring my race car out so that's something that you can view. We're going to have door prizes and food as well. So we're really hoping that you guys enjoy and you guys come out. Now, let's take a look at the rest of the RHS announcements. Reminders about student council elections, summer school, and perfect attendance. But let's get started with being a graduate speaker. Seniors, if you are interested in being a speaker at either the Car Career Education Award Ceremony or at graduation, you need to see Ms. Chiro in room C214 to apply and receive information regarding the tryout process and deadlines. This Friday, the Early College Choirs and the IU East Richmond Chorale will have a joint concert in Lingle Hall at Earlham College. There will be free food, musical games, and activities for the whole family starting at 6.30 with the concert beginning at 7.30 p.m. It's free admission but limited seating, so show up early and take advantage of the fun activities. Student Council Officer elections are this week. Sign into Canvas and vote on the RHS Students Canvas page. Deadline to vote is this Friday. Anyone interested in taking class this summer needs to pick up a school form from their counselor. Forms are available now. Don't wait. Get signed up now. It's that time of the year again. The list of seniors who will have their name entered into the drawing for the Wetzel Car giveaway is on the door of the Career Ed office. Only seniors who have passed ECA testing have a perfect, perfect attendance and maintained a 2.0 GPA and are graduating with a Core 40 diploma or better will be on this list. Tomorrow, Ivy Tech will host College 101. It's your chance to find out more about financial aid, picking a college major, Ivy Tech dual credits, and more. It's from 6, 8, 6 to 8 p.m. at Ivy Tech, and there's even a chance for juniors and seniors to win a free college class. And one last reminder, the Rowley Change Bucket Challenge has been extended through this week. Put your extra change in your class's bucket at lunch to win bragging rights and the first ever Change Bucket Challenge trophy. All proceeds go to the Rowley Children's Hospital. That's your announcements. I'm Tavian Gillard. The snow canceled everything on Monday, but last night we got in several spring sports. Baseball was at home against Anderson and earned another NCC win with a 5-3 win over Anderson. Phillip Hobbs and Mason Brewer both went 2-3 for three and Bryce Brown earned the win for pitching 6 in the 3rd innings with 8 strikeouts. 
Girls tennis slipped by Winchester last night in a close match, winning 3-2. RHS had wins at number two and three singles and number two doubles. Softball was on the road at Wapahani and fell to the Raiders. Claire Laughlin had two hits for the Red Devils. That's sports. Now let's take a look at the Red Devils forecast. Temperatures will feel nice today, but the rain we get this afternoon will turn into a rain-snow mix after midnight as temperatures drop again. Highs will climb into the low 60s. Tomorrow we could have a few snow flurries linger in the morning before we see a little sun and late in the day. We will warm up to near 50 before another cold night leading into Friday. The sun comes back out to take us into the weekend, but we don't warm up fast, only hitting the low mid 50s. Prom is looking cool but dry so far. Highs for Saturdays look to be in the mid to upper 50s with partly cloudy skies. We'll give you a complete look for prom on Friday's show. Today as we wrap up the show, it's time to take a closer look at who should get your vote for prom king and queen. Enjoy and have a great day. Hey, this is Christian Harvey, and you can vote for me for prom king because I'm the GOAT, and I can make you laugh just by looking at you. Hi, I'm Samantha Rommel Bass, and you should vote me for prom queen because um, I feel like I'm pretty funny. Uh, I feel like I make everybody laugh sometimes. Um, I feel like I'm nice. I'm a really likable person. Um, My name is Devin Hampton. You should vote for me for prom queen because I'll fix it. It's broke. <laughs> I'm Vote for me and Devin. Vote me for prom queen. My name's Kylie and you should vote me for prom queen because I love dogs. Are you recording already? Yeah. Y'all should vote me for prom queen because, you know, I play football. I was starting the team. At least one of them. Maybe one. But, um, I'm cool with everybody. You know, Bubba's a chill guy. And Hi, my name is Tina Kennedy, and you should vote me for prom queen because ever since I was a little girl, I just always wanted to be one of the girls in high school that like brought lightness to anyone's darkness and was just really nice and got into things and like just talked to people and social and just wanted to run for things like prom queen and be voted. So vote for me. <laughs> My name is Juan Cervantes. Y'all should vote me uh, prom king because I don't want homecoming king at Northeastern. Came to Richmond. I've only been here like four months. And I'm on core already. You feel me? I'm the man. I'm, I'm the man with the plan. So y'all should vote me king. I'm, I'm going to be on top. Hello. Thank you for having me here. I'm Naomi Carter, prom queen 2018. <laughs> No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it's really nice of everyone to have voted for me in the first place and nominate me, so thank you. Vote me again, I guess. <laughs>